Now, welcome to this video chemistry looking at calculations of concentration. Now, concentration is the number of moles per decimeter of a solution. You need to know that the symbols for concentration are these blackets. Not curved, but square like black. And concentration is equal to the number of moles over volume. Now, this volume must be in decimeter cubed. If your volume is not in decimeter cubed, make sure you convert in decimeter cubed. Now, you need to know that one decimeter cubed, sometimes you, you are not given volume in decimeter cubed, but one decimeter cubed is equal to. 1000 that's what we must know 1000 cubic centimeters one decimeter cubed is equal to 1000 centimeter cubed that's what we must know if that is in the case your volume is not given in decimeter cube now we have an example here that says magnesium of mass 12 grams is dissolved in water to form magnesium hydroxide and hydrogen gas. The solution has a volume of 25 decimeter cubed. Calculate the number of moles of magnesium that we have So first you need to write the full chemical equation for this reaction. Now, we know that it's magnesium. I'm going to write my equation here. It's magnesium plus water and making sure that the equation is balanced forming magnesium hydroxide and the two here, remember magnesium is equal to the same plus hydrogen a hydrogen is always a gas. So now, is this equation balanced? Is it? We have one magnesium, we have one here. We have four hydrogen atoms, we have two here and two here. And we have two oxygen atoms. So if you put two here, the equation becomes balanced now. So now we can go on and work out question. Now, now that the equation is balanced, we can now go on and work out question one, which says calculate the number of moles of magnesium that you get with water. Now we know that moles, mole is equal to the mass that we like we looked earlier at one molar mass. The mass given here is 12 grams, and the molar mass of magnesium when you check on the predictable is 24. So 24 into 12 to give you 0 0.5 moles. Those are the number of moles of magnesium. I'm not sure you keep them. Then two says concentration of the solution. Now that to find the concentration of this solution, which is magnesium hydroxide, I'll just do this magnesium. Concentration of magnesium hydroxide. So, concentration, we know that we need to have the number of moles of the same magnesium hydroxide. We also have the volume of the same magnesium hydroxide. But, in the matter ways, we don't have the moles for magnesium hydroxide, but we can use what we looked at earlier, the mole ratio of this to this to find the number of moles. Look at the ratio, this is one, this is also one. So magnesium and magnesium hydroxide, they're in the same ratio. That means even magnesium hydroxide has the same number of moles, as long as they're in the same ratio. So make sure I'm saying they have the number, the same number of moles because they're in the same ratio, 0 0.5 moles. The volume that has been given here is that is 25. So put 25 here. They need to divide 
zero point five. So zero point five. 0 0.5 divided by 25, you get 0 0.02. So you get 0 0.02 more per decimeter cubed. That's the concentration that you get. Remember, concentration has got units more per decimeter cubed, or sometimes. You can also write it as 0 0.02 with capital letter M. Morality. It's the same. Then C says, calculate the volume of a gas formed at RTP. How do we find the volume? Now, if you remember what we looked at earlier concerning volume, we said volume of a substance. Said volume of a substance is equal to number of moles over volume at RTP. Now, in this case, it's a hydrogen gas which has been formed, of course. Now, again, look at the ratio of magnesium and magnesium, uh, sorry, and hydrogen. They are also in the same ratios, one to one. That means even the hydrogen gas has 0 0.5 number of moles divided by the volume at RTP you must know it when you check on the on the grid table is 24 and this volume must also be in decimeter cubed so we are getting a vibe 0 0.5 by 24 so 0 0.5 by 24 we are getting 0 0.0 Zero point zero ah, wait just a minute. Just yeah, sorry for that. Actually, volume of the gas it should be number of moles times the volume at RTP. Sorry, sorry. And in this case, we said they have the same number of moles as magnesium because they're in the same ratio times 24. Let's make that change. And we're going to get, so we multiply 0 0.5 times 24, 0 0.5 times 24, you get 12. We get 12 decimeters cubed. So that's how you find volume, concentration, the number of modes. Thank you so much for watching. I'm the tutor. I'll keep seeing you in the next videos. Have a blessed day.